In and out markers are used in DaVinci Resolve's edit section to contain segments on multiple video and audio tracks that appear at certain sections on the project's timeline. In this sample project, I have a 15 second video on my timeline. I will mark point in at the zero second mark by pressing I and relocating the red playhead to the five second mark where I will type in O to mark the out point. When your in and out points are in place, you can go to the mark option in your software toolbar or right click on the section just below the duration and choose convert in and out to duration marker. A set of blue markers should appear in line with your original in and out points and therefore in this particular project the new marker will adopt the same 5 second duration as that of my original marker with the grey line. Click and drag between the two blue points to relocate this on your timeline. As long as the snapping option is activated, which you can also do by pressing N, the marker should slot in easily to sections marked by the ends of existing edits on the timeline or by other neighbouring markers. To use these blue markers to highlight a new in and out section on your timeline, where the grey line will be relocated to, right click on the relevant blue marker and choose the set in and out from duration mark option. Multiple duplication markers can be converted. These can also be highlighted and removed by pressing delete or backspace. Alternatively to remove all generated markers, right click alongside these on your timeline and select remove all markers. To remove the original in and out points, hold an alt or option if you're a Mac user and press X. I hope those tips will be useful to you. Thanks for watching.